Huge changes have just dropped for Axie Infinity. These changes are so big that it has me questioning the future of this game. If you are playing Axie Infinity and you are relying on the amount that you can earn from this game, then this is a video that you need to watch because there is so much packed in here with this new season they've dropped and the new changes that you need to know this stuff immediately. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about Axie Infinity and some pretty massive changes that they just dropped on us for the brand new season and going forward with this game. These are pretty, these are so, these are so big. I, I'm, I'm over here like, I don't know what to do. And there may, there may be a lot of people that are in the same boat as me questioning whether this game is still worth it to play and if it really is just too expensive to even get started at this point with these changes that are dropped just today. So we're going to jump into all these brand new changes, what they mean for the game, whether they're going to be good or bad in the long term or in the short term, and why this may not necessarily be the best game to be putting your, your time into if you really need to play and earn, uh, like a lot of the people who are depending on this game for their daily income. But before we get into all that, if you love games, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit smash that like button if you want to continue to earn and maximize your profits in gaming. All right, so let's talk a little bit about these changes because these are pretty significant changes. Uh, I, when I got the word of this, I wasn't necessarily surprised that they made these changes, but uh, they do affect a lot of people, I think, in a lot of different ways. So season 18 of Axie Infinity just started and there are some pretty notable changes. The very first one we'll say is that the season is now going to be two weeks longer than normal. So they've extended the seasons now and uh, you'll have extra gameplay and extra time to be able to uh, earn all the different rewards in particular in PVP. And they have definitely pushed the rewards more towards the PVP side. I'm gonna talk about why in just a second. But when it comes down to how much you can still earn in this game, they've effectively cut that down by half. Whack, whack, chop, chop. They just chopped it all up. So now when it comes down to how much you can earn on the, on the daily, they have limited that in the PVE uh, scenario. So when you're going and you're doing your adventures, right, uh, to where before it was 100 SLP per day, if you completed that whole adventure circuit, now they're cutting that to 50 in the same kind of contrast for the daily quests, right? These are like your, your your daily quests to be able to complete things. They have cut that from 50 to 25 SLP per day. So this significantly impacts the amount of money that somebody could be making per hour, whereas uh, a top skilled player could may, may, uh, be making anywhere between nine to $15 an hour. Now you're looking at a rate cut here of, of almost 50%, we'll say. Uh, they have definitely, uh, in kind of contrast to try and uh, apparently help with this problem, uh, they've increased the PvP rewards. And the reason why they've done this is because uh, the PvE type of stuff, the adventure stuff, is a lot easier to bot. Which makes a ton of sense. I completely understand that that is the case. You know, you have this uh, very easily bottable situation where you can someone could just have a bot, put it on repeat, and they'll be able to get the maximum uh, daily requests and PvE uh, rewards uh, every day. And so it was, a, it was a pretty easy situation to bot. Now, PvP is a much harder situation. You can't really bot it as effectively as you could with the PvE stuff, which you know uh, what you're going to, you, you know what to expect, right? So it makes sense. Uh, but the, so the, what's going to happen here is that the PvP rewards are actually going to scale better as you are at higher ranks. So the better you are at PvP, the even better rewards there are going to be right so that, that, that i think they i think they are going to help balance these out and they think that this uh, change will help balance that out so there's not as many uh, people botting for slp because the problem here it was that uh, there was becoming an unbalance between slp being minted and the amount of slp being burned so about 225 million slp being minted with only about 75 million being burned and you know we know the main burn mechanic of slp is breeding right and so that may be due to the fact that maybe with uh, hitting over a million players in the game, they are reaching a point where not as many people are breeding. So they're not getting that that sync there that they would normally get of SLP. And to that uh, you know kind of uh, fact, they are actually looking at making adjustments to breeding in the long term. 
So that uh, means that, uh, you know, right now, I guess, the, you know, the, AA, the AXS, they say, is a little bit high for the breeding cost in AXS. So that might possibly be, be reduced here in the future. And then the SLP is actually going to go uh, is going to go up. So uh, that it'll be actually maybe more costly to breed and they'll may, it may require more SLP as another way to kind of, you know, uh, bring that sink down. Because what they're seeing right now, I think, is that a lot of people are essentially mining SLP on the daily and then they're going and selling it in the open market and it's not being uh, necessarily burned. So they're not they're not using it for breeding. And so I think when we have so many people coming in for breeding, that this uh, kind of creates this problem. So you think about, okay, well, what, what, what are they going to be doing in the long term? This is all short term stuff that they're going to be trying to, to do to help. Well, they've also talked about uh, a sync for axes themselves. So right now, the way it kind of works is that I won't necessarily call Axie Infinity a Ponzi scheme because it doesn't really work ex like a traditional Ponzi. But the problem is, is that with the economy they have set up, People need to be able to buy axes, right? And if you're 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 using SLP, which is part of this whole cyclical system, to be able to breed axes and to be able to make money in Axie Infinity, you're you're you know setting up these breeding and you're using your SLP to breed, and then you're you know you got these axes. Well, someone needs to come in to buy them. So since you always have to have new players coming in to buy more axes, and as more new players come in, they realize how the whole system works that you need to really breed to be able to maximize your profits. Then they also are breeding and then. And if uh, new players don't keep coming in at an accelerated pace in this kind of upwards kind of pyramid type of way, then you have uh, what we have in this situation kind of where uh, a lot of SLP uh, is being uh, you know created, but not enough being burnt. And there's not enough maybe players coming in that are buying new axes and buying in because Axie Infinity we know is incredibly expensive, right? So it's over a thousand dollars at this point to just get one team together. And those are for some pretty basic low end axes. So a lot of you may be asking, you know, is this game still going to be sustainable in the long run? And can I rely on this to be something dependable for me? Uh, a lot of people, over 60% of their players are in the Philippines and they play this game because it actually provides them more, uh, you know, money per day and per hour than they can make in most jobs where they live. And this is something that we will see in a lot of, uh, you know, so somewhat impoverished nations where, uh, you know, the, the earning potential for them there is very low. So Axie Infinity has done an amazing thing by helping these people, but this does effectively cut a lot of the revenue down by maybe even up to 50%. So with the fact that it's very expensive to get on board and a lot of these people need scholarships because they can't afford it, uh, and the fact that there aren't these sinks in place right now, we just need more and more people coming in playing this game. And if we don't continue to see the type of growth that Axie has seen here, the game may come become uh, unsustainable here in the very near future if they don't make some of these changes. In particular, I think the the sync for uh, axes will make a lot of sense. And they've talked about this as being the way that you'll be able to get resources or be able to upgrade your existing axes. You'll have to sacrifice or kill your cute little axes to be able to get some of these things and upgrade your land or upgrade your exi existing axes. So. There is a lot going on with this uh, ecosystem and with some changes coming up. I think the changes that overall that they made probably do help uh, in the long term, but it'll be definitely difficult for people to adjust in the short term, in particular those that are relying on this as a daily income and uh, some of those rewards being cut in half can be quite detrimental, right? So now we're having scholarships uh, being having to be adjusted because of the amount of SLP you can really earn effectively every day. And now it's really gonna come down to being very skill-based, right? So you have to be really good at PVP to be able to really continue to earn the same amount that you were earning before. And they will have increased rewards for PVP, so hopefully that will help. And they've expanded that to the top uh, 1,000 people on the leaderboard. So uh, definitely brush up on those PVP skills. If you have not been playing a lot of PVP with Axie, now is a time to get going. Otherwise, uh, you may lose out on a really great play to earn opportunity here. So, well, hopefully you guys like this breakdown of these huge changes to Axie Infinity and my opinion on what it means for the game and what, what they really need to do in the long term to keep this sustainable. Because right now, I think we do have a semi-Ponzi scheme filling 
you know, where you have to have new people come in and buy those axes. And if they're not, and they're not people coming in, then the price of axes start to drop. People are not going to be breeding as much. SLP is not being burnt as much. And then, uh, you know, in general, that, that decreases the prices of the tokens. And then you have people not wanting to play as much because they can't earn as much. And therefore you have it going back around. So then there's not as many players they're not breeding. So you have this uh, very cyclical kind of domino effect that can happen here. And I would hate to see such a great game and great team have that happen. So hopefully they get to expanding the use case for Axies with new games and uh, I'll hopefully get these sinks into place that will help with the long-term economy. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Axie Infinity and its long-term viability. That's all we have for today. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.